Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at crafting half tones in Illustrator where the dots aren't all joined together to start off with. Before we go to Illustrator, just a couple of things I teach also at Udemy where you can find four of my courses. The coupon code to use is YouTube and that will give you the best deal possible on those courses. I also teach at Skillshare and down in the description below is a link that you can use to sign up to Skillshare and my deal is at least as good as Skillshare's, often much better. So back in Illustrator, let's have a look at creating a half tone effect. So I'm going to drag out a circle here. I'm going to fill it just with black for now. I'll turn off the stroke and I'm going to change this fill to a radial gradient. So let's just click on the gradient tool. We've got a black to white gradient here. I'm going to make it radial and it's white in the middle, black on the outside. I want it to be the other way around. So black in the middle, white on the outside. So let's just add a bit more black to it and let's close the gradient panel. To create this as a half tone, we'll go to effect. There are a couple of options you can use. The one I'm going to use today is the pixelate one with color half tone. We're going to make it a black and white though. And to make it a black and white, we're just going to set all these channels to the same value. I like a 45 degree arrangement. So I'm just going to make each of these 45 because this is also the degree of rotation for the halftone effect. So I'll just click OK. Now you'll see that in the middle of this, everything is pretty much joined together. So let's go back out again and see how we could create that as a half tone effect, but where the middle is not all joined together. If you have a look in the appearance panel with this shape selected, you'll see that the color half tone is just a selectable option. So it can be enabled or disabled, which means also that this fill can now be changed. Let's select the fill, let's go back to the gradient and let's change this from black to gray. It's going to double click on this gradient slider here and let's back off the black. And when we back off the black, we're going to get separated dots in the middle of our half tone gradient. So the secret is not to use pure black, but to use a dark gray. Now, if we go back into the appearance panel, if I click on color half tone, it's also possible to make changes to this. So I'm actually going to take it up to 15 for the maximum radius, because that's going to give me bigger dots in the middle. But see now how our dots are not joined together. In fact, they are now separated. So it's a much nicer half tone effect. So there's a neat way of creating customizable half tone effects in Illustrator. Just be aware that the settings that you use for the channels, if you want it to be black and white, should all be the same. If you make these different angles, but obviously the same angle, but make it different to 45, then the final effect of your color half tone is going to look a little bit different. So this 90 degrees gives us this straight up and down sort of grid-like version. If you use 45 degrees, it's going to be rotated to 45 degrees. So hope that helps. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.